started doing DDPY this week. I'm uh, five days in, and amazingly, after five days, I've actually gained some pretty impressive ground. Um, if you don't know what DDPY is, uh, just, just go into your little YouTube and uh, and look up DDPY Arthur. That'll, uh, that, that'll, that'll sum up what the point of it is and uh, what, what initially got me into it. That uh, I'm a big fan of Jordan Peterson. And obviously I'm listening to him right now. And the greatest thing that, that, that Jordan has taught me is that you shouldn't love who you are. You should love who you're becoming. And, uh, you know, I'm, 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 I'm hoping that DDPY will uh, help, help me become a better person. And, uh, you know, uh, Christopher Titus coined the phrase inner retard and that's the uh, that, that, that's the little voice in your head that, that, that likes to remind you that you're a complete and total failure in everything you do and uh, my my inner retard is pretty much dictator he's, he's got full control and uh kind of hard to love the person you're becoming when your inner retard constantly reminds you that you're regressing. So, so after a week, DDPY, got my notes here. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's see what grounds I gained. My video froze. So, uh, day one, just, just a complete embarrassment. That, uh, there's a lot of little like subsections to DDPY. So uh, when I wake up, I do three of them. I do uh, I do the wake up, which is 11 minutes breathing, which is four minutes, and uh, energy, which is 25. And then come the pre evening, I do diamond cutter, which is about an hour. And uh, you know, wake, wake up's not too bad. It's nice because it, it's meant to be done. Like, you wake up, you throw the covers off. This is what you do. Um, breathing was... You know, it's a little little weird to realize you don't know how to breathe properly. It's, uh... Opa! But, you know, it's no different than when I had to get a woman at a bus stop to teach me how to walk. So... Whatever, I need to learn how to breathe. I should probably do that. And uh, so I got wake up, I got breathing, come energy, just delete. Uh, I kept losing my balance, I kept falling down, I couldn't hold a position. Um, and what I would do is, uh, when I fell, I'd, I'd rewind the video to the start of that little segment. And, go into safety and refocus my breathing and hit play get back into position fall again you know, rewind the video pause it that uh, energy's 25 minute workout probably took me 45 minutes come the evening doing diamond cutter one hour workout it's probably closer to an hour and a half hour 45. i i was crying 20 minutes in it was same thing. Uh, fell down a lot. Couldn't keep my balance. Couldn't support my own weight. Um, if I weigh 135 pounds, I'll buy you a pizza. And uh, I couldn't hold my body up with my arms. And then modified, I, I couldn't do a push up. And, uh, you know, the, the inner retard was over, like, we're over at that point. But, uh, you know, I got through it. If, if for no other reason than just spite the inner retard. And again, it probably took me an hour and 45 minutes to do an hour workout, but I did it. 
day two. Day two, I am. I, I woke up and my thighs hurt, my ankles hurt, my wrists hurt. Uh, boy, whatever the hell this is, uh, pectoral region. I couldn't lift my arm. It's just, I, I was just in pain. The inner retard is just, oh, well, you know, I kind of told you, you're a failure, accept it. And, uh, you know, I'm like, mm, if who I'm going to be as a failure, it's kind of hard to love myself. So, I did the wake up, did the breathing, did the energy. Um, probably the most interesting thing that happened on day two was, uh, after I finished wake up, 11 minute workout, um, I wasn't in pain anymore. I lift my arm, my thighs didn't hurt. I roll my ankles, I could roll my wrists. Still, still couldn't do the energy. Still losing balance, falling, pause video, safety. Start again, do the same thing. And Diamond Cutter come the pre evening. Cried my eyes out and fell a lot. What do you do? You know, and I had already fallen 325 times, so what the hell did it matter if I fell again? Just get back up, get into safety, do it again. Day three, I was, was stiff. When I woke up, I wasn't sore. Was a little stiff. And, uh, by the end of wake up, I felt great. Breathing, I was I, a little better, a little better at focusing my breathing. Still, you know, obviously not as good as DDP, but uh, you know, I'm baby steps, right? Baby steps. I still fell. But I didn't stay in safety as long. Was, uh, sometimes I didn't even go into safety. It was just fall, get up, try again. Fall, get up, try again. Cut out the middle step as best I could. I still relied on safety probably more than I should, but not, not as much as the last two days. And, uh, I was actually able, I was able to do diamond cutter in maybe an hour 15. Still cried my eyes out, but I shaved about a half hour. Um, day four, I was, I was losing my balance still, all the time. But I wasn't falling as much. I was able to catch myself. I was able to you know, I wasn't able to hold the positions for long. I'd wobble in a picture perfect form. But I wasn't falling every three minutes. I was falling maybe every ten minutes. And I mean, again, like, what's, what's the worst that's going to happen? Like, I get back up and just going to fall again. Oh, well. You know. And in the pre-evening, do the diamond cutter, cry my eyes out. And again, I, I, I shortened the time. I didn't fall as much. Yes. Day five, I was about the same as day four as far as my fall rate goes. But uh, my breathing was much, much more controlled, um, which actually plays a very important role in keeping your balance, which is surprising, but, uh, you know, wibble wobble, wibble wobble didn't fall down. Um, I did a push-up, uh, today, obviously today being day five, I, I, I did a push-up, and, uh, Modified when I when I got down that uh the the DDPY push up is uh, 
You, you get in the up position, you hold for three. And you go down for three. You hold for three. You go up for three. So I could, I could hold myself up for three. I lower myself for three. I had to rely on my knees a couple times to uh, keep my chest from hitting the ground. But I could hold for three. I push myself up for three. That's, uh, five days in, I, I, I went from being unable to support my own weight to not gracefully doing it, but being able to do it nonetheless. So, uh, you know, keep doing it on the weekend. I'm going uh, to, I'm going to mix it up. I think I'll still do wake up and breathing, but I think I'm going to change energy and diamond cutter to a couple different, different workouts he does. And, uh, you know, come Monday, I'll go back to wake up, breathing energy, and diamond cutter in the pre-evening. And I didn't have a goal this week aside from just, just please, for the love of God, make it to the end of the week. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful next week that I don't have to pause the video. That, uh, you know, I... I can do a 25 minute energy in 20 minutes. I can do a one hour diamond cutter in one hour. So. Yeah, I sure as hell don't love who I am, but. I, I do love who I'm becoming. Guess we'll see what happens next week.